You turn into the worst of me. Held on to every broken spot. I wish I never told you why I feel so close to us. Your hands still stay like colored dust. a more worse time to probably start a vlog right now but I feel like authentic vlogs should be a thing so I was sitting here in my chaos of a kitchen life is a little chaotic right now anyway here we are laundry's going and it's loud one second so let me just tell you a little bit about what's going on in life right now so today is Tuesday we got home from the beach on Sunday, so it was like Sunday, maybe around like 6 p.m. So, you know, you get home from vacation, unpacking all the things, which I have not unpacked yet. Woke up on Monday, Clark had to go back to work, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna start planning the week and, you know, get my life together a little bit, unpack, do laundry, clean, blah, blah, blah. And Sage got sick. Yesterday afternoon, which was Monday, she was on fire. I took her and all on a little walk, and it was, it was definitely warm outside, but I was like, you know, we're gonna go on a little walk. I had the little thing over her so she didn't get burned. Came home, took her out of the stroller and she was on fire and she was whimpering the whole walk. I'm like, why is she, what's wrong with her? She usually just sits there and is quiet and she was just this sad little whimper. Took her temperature, it was like 102.7. It's kind of hard with these thermometers because oh, there's food caked all over it, good. Sometimes they're not as accurate. Apparently with babies, you're supposed to use the rectal thermometer, which we have, but I just couldn't put her through that. I'm like, I know she has the fever. Um, so the fever kind of just ranged, but it was getting close to 103. So I called the pediatrician. They didn't have anything available yesterday. So they're like, you know, we recommend you take her to the ER, which I think they have to say that. If anyone is in the healthcare system in that way, you would know better than I would. So I'm like, let me just monitor her, try to get this fever down. They have an appointment for today. So I'm like, we just need to get through the night, get her fever under control, and she should be okay until I see her tomorrow. So I did not take her to the ER. That was just a decision that I made to not do that. So anyway, it is now the next day. Her appointment is at 11.30, it is 10 o'clock. She is down for a nap and the poor thing is just pitiful. She literally wanted me to hold her all day yesterday, which was, it was really sad because she's sick, but I was just soaking up all the amazing cuddles she was giving me. She slept on my chest for hours, which she does not do anymore now that she's older. So, oh, and I have bites all over my feet all over my legs. Where we were staying at the beach, there was, you know, trees and mosquitoes and all that kind of stuff. So we were getting eaten alive while we were there. But I don't think that's what it is because I didn't have any of these bites until we got home. And I even told Clark, I'm like, I am so afraid of bed bugs because I brought them home from a hotel one time into my room and they took over and it was literally a it was a very traumatic experience. So I told him at the beach, I'm like, let's check the bed, make sure there's not any bed bugs. I just do that anywhere that I go. And come home and we had fresh sheets that were put on. Um, my friend who was staying here, she cleaned them, which was like so nice. So we came home to a clean bed. So I don't know what's going on. It's never happened before. I'm like, maybe it's fleas from Nala. So I gave her a bath and anyway, there's so much going on. I'm just literally, word vomiting everything to you right now. Then I just realized I have an audition due today that I got like last week, but we were on vacation. I'm like, I have time to do it, I'll do it when I get home. And then it just occurred to me that it's due in like a few hours. Am I gonna get this done? I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, there's a lot going on right now. And I'm sorry to like make this a stressful vlog, but this is just what's going on. Trying to get my life together, but trying to be calm. <laughs> trying to just do one thing at a time handle all the things having a sick baby is so so sad I know she's gonna be okay like I know I know she's gonna be fine it's just getting through the sickness you know so right now I'm going to eat the breakfast that I made a long time ago and clean up try to maybe get myself together try to set the camera up and see if I can knock this audition out before I need to wake her up or before she gets up and before we have to go to the pediatrician so anyway that's what's happening right now. Quickly getting ready. Clark is usually off on Tuesdays and today he had to go get a root canal. So of all days, because I mentioned in my previous vlog that he woke up with a toothache when we were getting into our morning routine. 
like our new morning routine that we wanted to start doing by getting up and working out before Sage wakes up. And uh, yeah. anyway, so he had to go get a root canal. Oh wait, no, he's getting a crown put on. He had his root canal already before vacation and now he's getting his crown on. That sucks for him. Just so many things happening in life right now. All right, this is as good as it's gonna get. Audition done. the doctor a few hours ago Sage isn't sleeping they said to wait it out a little bit like a few days just to see if she still has a fever and is still feeling bad and that will help determine oh okay my dryer sorry that will help to determine if it's viral or bacterial viral typically goes away quicker bacterial infections last longer but the exception to that is COVID. COVID doesn't go away in a short amount of time. It's a little bit longer. I'm starting to feel <laughs> sick. My stomach hurts so freaking bad. I feel like I want to throw up. I'm drinking some ginger tea right now to help soothe my stomach, but I'm getting chills and I don't know. I don't think things are going to be good right now. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say the C word on YouTube. I feel like I'm going to get flagged <laughs> if I say the word. So when I just talk about getting sick, you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? We took some tests that my mother-in-law brought for us to test Sage, but I don't think she's gonna let me put the swab in her nose for 30 seconds. So Clark and I just took one and this is Clark's. It's very positive. Mine has a very, very, very faint line. So I can't tell if that's just the tester line underneath or if it's showing up a little bit i feel like i'm taking a pregnancy test over here <laughs> oh my god so if we have you know what then that's probably what sage has oh what a mess but we're gonna be okay it's gonna be fine but uh, he's feeling completely fine right now so maybe he's asymptomatic which would allow him to not be sick and take care of us um but we'd have to figure out work. This is like, all of this stuff is just like a mess. So I don't know what I'm gonna film the rest of this week. If I'm able to, I don't know. Maybe we're all gonna be sick together at home. Maybe not. I don't know. We just ordered some more tests. And I don't know, for me, I'm like, okay, if I get a fever and stuff, like what do I take? Like what am I allowed to take while I'm breastfeeding? So I'm just gonna stick to my supplements for now. We're getting some garlic and I'm gonna chew on some garlic because that's like a natural antibiotic. Um, I've heard something where if you put garlic in baby's socks, that helps reduce their fever. So if I have garlic, maybe I'll put some garlic in her socks. I don't know, I'm gonna try to do what I can, but I need to do some research to find out what I'm able to take if I need to. So, oh my gosh, what a mess. How do you feel about having a crown put on and getting COVID the same day? Fine. Man of many words.
How cute are they? Getting in some grounding. Yeah, that's precious. Hi, baby. Are you grounding? Are you doing a little grounding? I hope we're not overdoing it because Clark and I just cleaned out a ton of our stuff, just went through closets and just got a bunch of stuff for Goodwill, threw a ton of stuff away, reorganizing, cleaning things out, which has been very, very overdue. Um, Sage literally just woke up as soon as I hit the record, she wakes up. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what we have going on. So we just have a ton of trash. Um, we're just putting bins together to put in our shed. Literally stuffing the trash full of just crap. We went through this entire closet and threw a ton of stuff away. And this is the disaster of our guest bedroom right now. But we went ahead and cleaned the closet out, went through all of Clark's clothes. So we have a lot going on, still a lot to be done. It just feels so good to get rid of things clean things out and just not have that hanging over our heads anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and get sage oh first of all i retested yes i did your girl is positive very very positive so but right now i just feel like i have a cold my chest is getting a little bit heavy but honestly so far it's like nothing um nothing that feels more than just like a little cold but I'm just afraid I maybe overdid it today while we're like cleaning and stuff and just moving stuff around. There's like dust and my nose has been running. So I think I need to kind of just chill out moving forward. Um, I'm gonna make some tea and just uh, go get Sage and feed her and just chill out for a little bit. All right, making myself some veggie soup. It has onions, tons of garlic, tomatoes, carrots, celery, uh, kale, parsley, and cilantro, and then just some like Italian seasoning and more basil and oregano, things like that, a little salt. And then just heating up Sagey Girl some lentils and garlic and making her some pasta and I have some fruit I'm gonna give her too, so. I've been trying to sleep for a couple hours while Sage has been hanging out with Clark and then she has been sleeping and I literally cannot sleep. I definitely have a fever, chills all over my body I actually took ibuprofen for the first time in years. Like, I've not taken medicine in years. Even after having a baby, I did not take Motrin or ibuprofen or anything for pain. Uh, and that's totally my choice. I was in a lot of pain, but I don't take medicine for my migraines. So apparently, I just like to suffer more than taking medicine. And I know a lot of people are like, that's, that's stupid, but... That's just, that's just me. Um, so anyway, I took ibuprofen and I feel like it might have taken the edge off a little bit. I'm able to like hold my phone and like function, but I still feel like I have a fever. The chills are kind of gone, but I'm just like super hot, but then cold at the same time. I don't know, man, but I wish I could sleep and she's like, I can hear her starting to make some sounds. Clark can grab her cause he's here, but I have to feed her. Huh, so that's where I'm at. I'm in bed, not able to nap. Awesome. You want mommy? Oh, too bad. You're coming to daddy. <laughs> no, no, no. You're mine. Oh. <laughs> you're mine. Come on, let's go get Nala. Oh, 
No, don't. Hello. <laughs> it is many, many days later. I haven't talked to you since, what, like Wednesday? <clears throat> <clears throat> the last few days have been very rough. So I had fever for like three days straight, body aches, chills, all that stuff. Never got congest congestion or runny nose or anything like that in my throat is starting to feel a little scratchy, but like nothing too crazy, but ah, wow. The last three days have been very, very tough. So Clark has been fine this entire time. So we tested positive on Tuesday and then Tuesday evening, I started feeling a little off. And then by Wednesday, it was like full blown. Sage was sick for like the two days, had a fever for about two days and then has been completely fine. Never had, ton of congestion or anything like that, runny nose. When she had a fever, she had a little bit of a runny nose. And that's it. So that's what's going on with us. That's what's going on. I'm alive and still not feeling great, but I don't have a fever, so I feel like I can function like a human. I'm just really tired and my, it's like my eyeballs hurt. Did anyone have this where your eyeballs are just sore? Oh, oh my gosh, they feel like they worked out. Or something now that i'm feeling like a human again i'm gonna start to attempt a little bit of laundry and again i don't want to overdo it but there's a lot that needs done clark has been amazing he's done a lot the last few days he's the one who's been taking care of sage because i've been in bed and literally would not have been able to do it so thankfully he was not allowed to go to work being positive obviously right now i am doing a little toy rotation for sage so she's in a stage where she doesn't really care about toys and just wants to play with, just roam the house and just play with just stuff around the house. It's just what is interesting to her right now. However, we got our Love Every uh, delivery. We get the play kits every like few months and it's a subscription that you get and it is based off your child's age and it just takes the, the thinking out of like, what do you, what toys do I get my kid right now at their age and so we really have been loving love every we've done it since she I think she, since she's been a newborn or a couple months old a few months old I don't remember but we've had several boxes come in and we really like it so because I think that she just has a lot going on in her play pen over there that's the wooded gated area and I think she just goes in there and it's just there's too much going on so she's I don't know then she crawls out and just wants to like play so over here, let me show you. I've changed up this area a little bit. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm going to fix this all up and make it cuter. But for now, this is what's going on. But here is the situation I have with her toys. So I think that putting some stuff out here compared to all of the toys that are in here, I think it's just gonna be able to help her focus on these things. So anyway, let me show you what we got in her new box. And for toy rotation, it's basically just switching out their toys, even if it, they're not new, just so that it's something kind of newer that they're seeing it, so that it almost feels new to them and they're not just seeing all their toys at one time. So it's kind of the idea behind it. This is what we got in the new box and it's super cute. I love Every has a really great quality. All the stuff is like a nice wooden aesthetic. It's really cute. And like I said, it's based off of your child's age and kind of the sensory stuff that they need for that age range that they're at so this box was the 11 to 12 month she's about to be 11 months in just a couple weeks so though it wasn't too soon it feels pretty fitting for her right now so this is cute so you put it through there let it fall or you can do that and then and then these two balls that are different weight so it's like i think there's like sand in it or something and there's this cute little thing this is the cutest little book it's literally miniature and the perfect size so when she's holding it it just cracks me up it's so freaking cute and it's just a little thing that those balls can fit in and she's really been liking reaching in and grabbing stuff out of this and then this little thing just slides and she can learn to put the ball in the hole and these are also sensory as well, just because the um, texture of them. This also came with the box this month, which I thought was really cute. So notes to my child. So I'm going to look through here more and 
write her little notes that we can put away and she can open up later. I thought that was a really cute idea. And then every box comes with this little guide to what is in the box. So it kind of tells you where you can start and then where you can kind of finish. I think it's saying to start here and start introducing things. Oh, there, she also got this really cute baby doll. It's in her crib right now. But yeah, it kind of just gives you a little guidance on where to start and where to finish, but it's not necessary. I just am putting everything out at one time. This is called The Thinker. We absolutely love, love every, and if you guys are interested, I'll put a link below for you. You turn into the worst of my Held on to every broken spot I wish I never told you what I feel so close to us Your hands still stay in color dust I'm shot from all your broken eyes Still wish I never told you what I show you guys this cute necklace that I just got off of Etsy it says sage and I'm not a big like I don't know word person on jewelry but for some reason I think this is really cute um, I'll link it below for you it's very inexpensive but it's so cute got my girl's name on me okay it's officially one week after testing positive and I've been fine for the most part for the last couple days so day four was like, meh. day five, I was like, okay, I feel good. Six and seven, same thing, feeling like basically back to normal. Besides just feeling really tired. And I know these symptoms can kind of like come and go, but I know that I'm over the worst of it. So I'm grateful. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you for coming along. I just wanna say that I definitely did not show how obviously because I was sick, like how bad symptoms were. Watching this vlog, you might be like, oh, she bounced back and it was fine. But it was, it was not fun. <laughs> it was really not fun. But thanks for watching. And um, I'm glad we're all well now. But here's to building our immune systems. <laughs> and yeah, so make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. Give the video a like. As always, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys. You turn into the worst of my Held on to every broken spot I wish I never told you what I feel so